bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. So, uh, first things first, uh, we have a new minifigure, uh, a new Alpha Wax minifigure to welcome to the table. Um, uh, so please, uh, drum roll. Welcome, Jordan. Hello. Oh, look, J Jordan, I hope you've noticed I've given you some, uh, some green, um, uh, sunglasses as per the photo that you sent me so there you go that is Jordan uh, welcome uh, hello Emma hello um, and without further ado please get yourself uh, to the Pagoda thank you thank you uh, really pleased to be here thank you off you go on to the Pagoda oh no I've just knocked over Tweedle Vaz Pusu this, this is, of course, is the problem with the pagoda. There isn't actually that much standing space, uh, and it's a little bit tricky. Sorry. Uh, oh. <laughs> she Look, she was actually head first in her own uh, vase that has poo in it. I mean, I suppose that's... Oh, no, Ruth Hayes has now gone over. I suppose that's uh, poetic justice. Anyway, without further ado, uh, let's crack on with bag 16. <laughs> Another person. Right, let us begin with a minifigure. Yes, that's correct, everybody. Uh, I have remembered uh, to do it. Thank you. Oh, sorry. So you just tuck that in there a bit more. That's it, better. Uh, it's Lucius uh, Malfoy. Oh, look Look at the fabulous detailing uh, on his jacket. Um, oh, yes, look, he only gets a horrible face. There's, there's, no, uh, there's no cutesy face for Lucius, quite right, too. Oh, he will you look at him. Look at him. Um, he gets to hold what, what can only be described as some sort of baton. Uh, look, ready to beat people with it. It's not a wand. Um, there you go. Thank you. Sorry, for it's that, that's actually a, a bready burp today. I've been burp. I haven't been eating bread for quite the time. And... Um, I don't know if you've heard of gusto, but I get I get gusto um, because I, I love it. I think it's absolutely fabulous. And um, there were some rolls that were going begging. We didn't eat them with the soup that with the, the, the chicken soup I'd made. And uh, I hate things going to waste. So I thought, oh, I don't want to chuck those out. I think I'll I'll cut I'll cut one of those rolls in half and have it with a bit of marmite and i did and i've been burping non-stop ever since anyway uh welcome to today's build no wrinkle it says oh i'm only two bags ahead this is a great build i'm sad to da tonight dana Gall now on level three that means no leaving the co the county so the birthday weekend to galway is off oh no but a box was delivered today for my sister, but I think it could be my birthday present. Well, don't open it until your birthday. <gasps> Gosh, do you think it's Lego? I mean, I basically just only ask for Lego now at Christmas and birthdays. I mean, why, why would you want anything else, quite frankly? Um, 
Ooh, do let us know, Noreen. Do, 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 do. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Little Sue, is, is Noreen on the birthday rotor? Little Sue? Yes. I'm just sort of sending out a bat signal to you on this because, uh, well, um, d d well, just just let me know. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you know, Emma. Yeah, okay. Well, just let's keep abreast, shall we? By the way, I fixed it. It was quite the to do actually fixing that down. Um, Jordan, uh, I've just realised not only is diagonally diagonally. But nocturnally is nocturnally. I've been living under a rock. Uh, Tweedle Mandy and Tweedle Vospu Sue. They are twins and they love poo. Uh, Tweedle Mandy says, oh, of course it is. Brilliant. Uh, T.H. Horton, uh, the minifig formerly known as London Rose, then known as Mary, says, I have an overwhelming desire to pull you close into a buxom hog. Uh, Rub your head in a soothing manner while whispering, shh, we're all very proud of you. Um, not forgetting grim old place, grim old place. Oh, ah, grim old place, grim old place. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, twi man twi uh, Twiddle Manny says, uh, that, 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 that is genius. Yep, yeah. Um, then, uh, Tweedle, uh, no, sorry, uh, Jordan says, um, oh no, <laughs> oh Jordan, says I, I, I wouldn't mind a hug actually, not had a hug since Covid began, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, Jordan, sorry Ruth Hayes, you're sort of in the, in the, in, in the knock zone, oh no, oh Annie Miller, um, excuse me, Vaz Poo Sue, I need to give Jordan a, 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 a hug immediately. Oh no, he's, he's stuck in the poo goda. Oh, Jordan. Jordan. Little Jordan. Look, we give it, look I'm giving you a virtual hug. Oh, little Jordan. Yeah, that's, that's nice, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I haven't had a hug since, since lockdown. Oh, oh. Oh, Jordan, Jordan. Right, back you go. But I love his minifig, don't you? Look at him, he's marvellous. Right, back on the poo goda. Let's see, we've got the same. Uh, it's, tr it's tricky. Right, you're in, you're in. Vars poo so up you go. Thank you. Poo goda, it's the poo goda, the poo goda of glory. Where Vaz Poo Sue may have done a poo in a vase. Uh, T.H. Horton, a uh, minifig formerly known as Thunder Roads, uh, now known as Mary, says, Oh, Jordan, believe me when I say, if we weren't in this un unflushable pile of never-ending shit car 2020, I'd already be in the car asking for your address to deliver a hog in person. Oh, love, love you to bits. Love you to bits. By the way, FYI, it is uh, it's bookshelf tonight. If you fancy it, seven o'clock on Facebook. Do 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 do. Look at this for a purple. So got this very light purple, a rosy purple. Right, stop saying purple, Emma. Uh, Eric Oswald, Real Lebowski Fest. Yes, it is a celebration of the film The Big Lebowski. And while I think the movie is just okay, the fest is fun. Bowling with a costume contest. Oh, that sounds good. Bands, comedians, beer and food trucks and a white Russian stand. And a big circle of regulars who love to see each other each year. Ah. Oh. See, I, I love it when little, when lovely little communities spring up. A bit like us, I suppose. Can you imagine the lark we would have if there was such a thing as Relax With Bricks Fest? Can you even imagine? I 
mean, obviously no one would want to share a tent with vast poo soup, but that goes without saying. Possibly ditto Gary Blair. The never-ending boinging. Um, Eric Oswald. The relax with bricks, as a euphemism for having a poo, had me crying laughing. My brother and I have our own euphemism for needing to hit the loo. I need to evacuate the carnival. Oh, well. Hmm. I need to evacuate the carnival. Well, now, hang on a minute. This this is mm, went a bit previous then. Should have done that, but oh. Noticed before we went too far, so hush your beak, hush your blinking beaks, hush it, hush your beaks, hush your beaks, hush your hush your hush your beaks. Right, well I'm making two of those. <coughs> um, voila. Uh, back to uh, Eric Oswald and his uh, evacuating the carnival. Uh, this is from when my brother and I were very young. We used to act out disaster movies that we made up as we went along. One time, he was doing this on his own and went run running through the kitchen yelling, Evacuate the carnival. My mom said, What was that? And I had to explain that he's acting out an imaginary disaster movie. We still occasionally say, Excuse me, I need to evacuate the carnival. Especially when we're in restaurants. Oh, I don't think I've ever... Do you know, I don't think I've ever done a poo in a restaurant. No, no, I don't think I, no, I don't think I have, no, no, no. I, I don't think that's unusual either. I, I don't, I don't think many people go to a restaurant uh, to have a poo. Um, I may be speaking out of turn. Uh, cue the inevitable list of uh, stories that come forth from the FLX. <laughs> And I'm pulling it right on. Um, Tweedle, uh, Vast Poo Sue. Uh, she says, oh my word, I've broken Affleck law. What? What? Push it off the table, isn't in the pole. Please, please, please don't blame Professor Lego. This is all my doing. If I have to go to Affleckatraz or and be in the Book of Morons, I understand. Well, all right, okay. <laughs> Request for an adjudication, request for an adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks, uh, for the crime of not having push off the table in the pole, which is very much Vaz Poo Sue's fault, <laughs> according to her. Does she have to go to Ethel Wackertrez or does she have to go in the Book of Morons? Thank you, request for adjudication. <laughs> Well, we'll have to wait and see. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. We, 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 we all operate at the mercy of the VAR. Uh, but good luck to you, uh, Vars Pusu. Uh, good luck to you. Um, Eric Oswald. Dame Julie. Yeah, yes. Faints in a heap on the floor. Yes. Yes. Actual Mary Poppins on a Skype with me. I mean, I don't, I don't know if anything's ever going to be better than that. I've, I've sorted that. That was it. I've peaked. I've peaked. There can be nothing greater. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Do be do be do be do. I bet. I bet. Uh, I bet Dame Dawn French has had some super moments in her life come on, come on dame dawn t t t tell us what tell us what your uh, julie andrew me julian skyping with julie andrews was come on let's have it she might not tell us she might want to be remain mysterious <clears throat> as is her as is her natural born right and I made Dame Julie Andrews laugh. Imagine that. Imagine that. 
she actually applauded me. Imagine that, she was laughing so much. Imagine, imagine that, imagine, imagine my little face as I sat there uh, and watching her giving me a round of applause because I'd made her laugh so much. Ima imagine, just imagine, just, can you even imagine it? Can you even imagine it? <sighs> Dame Julie, flipping neck. Uh, back to the uh, Google eyes. Never ending boing. Gary Blair. Gary Blair. Gary Blair. Never ending boing. Gary Blair. Gary Blair. Gary Blair. Right, what does he want today? Shall we see? What does he want? What filth is he going to infect us with today? <laughs> um, he says, you see. You see, completely ignored an entire string at the end of Twitter biz. Entirely, utterly, and deliberately. Yes, I think I know to what you're referring, but it, it wasn't adding anything. <laughs> Sorry to be brutal. Sorry. Sorry to be utterly brutal about that. Can't even remember what it was anyway. Bad luck. <laughs> Bad luck. Bad luck, Gary Blair. Bad luck. Oh look, this this is being slightly annoying. I'm going to have to use that. I think that's what it's there for, isn't it? Um, Gary Blair. Wow, Eric. Holy shard. Shall I tell the tale of my unholy shard? No, no, no. Absolutely not. No. And thrice no. This is good, isn't it? Out of control. Now then. Yes. Mm, that's good. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. And... Hmm. Okay. Wait. That was a bit previous then. Okay. Back to Google Eyes. Uh, mm, Gary Blair says, Yeah, the difference between my boings and yarn is that mine are funny. Rude. Absolutely rude. Um, Twiddle Mandy says, Oh, Mother Goose, I'm so sorry I hid the minifig of Draco so you didn't see him. It was just for larks. I was going to blame it on the haunted table. I do hope you don't get into trouble because of me. Uh, open bracket, nervous fart, closed bracket. Uh, I'm going to give you house points uh, there, um, Twiddle Mandy. I'm giving you house points. Um for trying to get me out of trouble, which let's face facts, I, I think that might be a first uh, on Relax with Bricks. Most, most of you are constantly trying to get me into trouble. So uh, house points to you uh, for creeping up to me. I, I'm, I'm suddenly thinking that there, there needs to be more creeping up. Um, but house points to you, madam, house points to you. Oh, and see, now I'm slightly thinking we need to have a house points book and whoever has the most house points at the end of the year uh, gets some sort of badge. Mm, yeah, ah, it's, it's very appealing as a notion. Mm, I might have to start doing that. Okay, thank you. Leave that with me. I'm going to get a house points book and, and, and give house points. Um, T.H. Horton, the minifig previously known as uh, Thunder Rose, now known as Mary, says Pro Professor Lego has surely earned a, su a supernal honorific now after taking one for the team by having arse gravy in his search history for the sake of Afawak lore. Professor just seems like such a slap in the face. Mm. 
I mean, he is a prince amongst men. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, Tweedle Mandy uh, asks uh, pretty much what all of us are asking, which is, uh, what is a supernal honorific? When I tried to Google it, it pointed me in the direction of crossword clue solver websites. T.H. Uh, Horton, the minifig previously known as Thunder Rose, now known as Mary, said, uh, that's just me being an obnoxious twat. Instead of saying he deserves a higher title than Professor, Professor just doesn't do justice to his efforts and sacrifice. Uh, Tweedle Mandy, T.H. Horton, you are so right about Professor. Please use her proper name, Tweedle Mandy. It is T.H. Horton, the minifig previously known as Thunder Rhodes, now known as Mary. That is her proper name. Uh, anyway, she says, you're so right about Professor Lego, not the obnoxious twat bit. Could we add the word laureate to give Professor Lego's title more oomph? Mm. The laureate Professor Lego. Yes, uh, I agree to this. Uh, Jim Burn. Jim Burn. Jim Burn. Jim, 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 Jim Burn. Jim Burn. Jim Burn, Jim Burn, Jim Burn. Oh, that might stick. Uh, it says, thank you, thank you, thank you, me heart. Oops, completely wrong day. Sorry. Thank you so much for the terrific birthday minifig and dude up, Brex Operator. I bet those two words, Brex Operator take on a whole different connotation in the world of our beloved twins. Oh, that's a boy. Uh, but yes, thank you, Emma. Uh, I do believe, I think you mean that you're, 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 yes, it's all arrived super because it was your birthday and uh, as is your birthright as a goose, you get given a doodah break up rider and a random minifig. That's the service we provide here. That, relax with brick Wait, don't do that, Emma. Don't do it. Stop it. You haven't done this. Get it right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I've done that. Okay, then. Right, proceed. Now proceed. Now proceed. Um, Mr. Graham Triggs. We're, we're over to Twitter eyes now. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the uh, official referee of Relax. With bricks, he says, the other week, I was asked if I had time to attend a meeting. Mm -hmm. No sooner had I agreed to this, the meeting spawned a pre-meeting. Oh, I hate a pre-meeting. If people want to have two meetings, they should say so. Don't try and sneak a second meeting in by suggesting it's only one that that's that feels like a an adjudication for life uh, yeah i couldn't agree with you more mr graham triggs uh, jordan in a twist of fate i'm going to let the affawax decide my vocal future oh good luck jordan with that oh crumbs oh crumbs i'm oh dear Maybe they can come up with a few suggestions and Professor Lego can do a poll to decide my final voice. It was fun being a Dalek, but it was a bit full on at times. Yes, it was. It's hard. It's hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Right, OK. Uh, Alpha uh, uh, Professor Lego, uh, the, the, the laureate, Professor Lego. Uh, can do, Jordan Avalax, post your suggestions here. Uh, Grumpy Mark. Now, bear in mind, Grumpy Mark got us into the Dalek trouble in the first place. He says, Swedish chef from the Muppets. <laughs> anyway, Grumpy Mark then says, Bad idea. The FOX voted for my voice without my knowledge when I was stuck in the past and I got lumbered with my current croak. Uh, Jordan says, I may live to regret it, but I've got to live life on the edge. Uh, Grumpy Mark says, my appearance was also chosen for me. I'm okay with the high-vis jacket and wife fronts, but I'd have picked a crash helmet rather than the sailor's hat. You love the sailor's hat. It gives you a, a jaunty sense of pizzazz 
I've completely lost uh, where we are here. Now then, I'm going to see what the... Oh, oh, grumpy Mark. He then says, uh, Yogi Bear, Richard Burton, Jeffrey from Rainbow, Marcel Marceau, Donald Duck, Yosemite Sam. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Gary uh, Blair says, uh, Chilton from Chilton and the Wheelies, Lou Little Ooh Lady. Um, you great spatty oof. Yeah. Uh, Grumpy Mark then says, Orville the Duck. Uh -huh. uh. uh. <laughs> then Jordan says, uh, A request for myself. Uh, Fenella the Kettle Witch from Chalton and the Wheelies. Uh, Charlie Chop, she fights crime, she fights crime with a face, uh, but not a sense of his Says Joe Pasquale, or Kermit. Um, oh, good grief. Um, Gary Blair, Kenneth Williams. I mean, it, 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 this is going on and on. Um, gee whiz. Right. Uh, Professor Leg out the Laureate. Uh, Professor Lego, and now for what should have been yesterday as well. Here we go. All right, hang on a minute because we've actually got a sticker here. Sticker number D4. Sticker number D4. Sticker number D4. Hmm. 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 I want it on this side. As you know, uh, I do not agree with uh, stickers that have bits of brick on. I, 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 don't, I don't officially recognise them. Sorry. I, I shun you. I shun you. I shun you real hard. Um, okay. Shouldn't they infamous Poovars, uh, courtesy of Dwayne Sue, uh, Vars Poo become a holy relic to reside evermore in Emma's Lego shed. In respect of Sue, this is a simple yes or no pearl. Eric Carswell, there is the pearl, as promised. In, well, in second place, with 24% of the vote, it's Sue to keep Vars. But with 76% of the vote, that, that's the runaway winner, it's holy relic in Lego Shred. Well, there it is. There it is, Vars Pusu. Uh, it, it must now be sent uh, to the Lego Shed. Uh, to the Lego Shed, please. Uh, the uh, Vars uh, from the Vars Pusu instant will now become a holy relic uh, within the confines of the, uh, the haunted table and the Lego Shed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will have a uh, ceremony, of course, when it arrives. A suitable, a suitable and a highly respectful uh, ceremony on its arrival. Uh, Ruth Hayes, strictly speaking, any Afflewack relic should be in the custody of the uh, Relax With Bricks, formerly Lego, uh, museum. But I suppose we could arrange a permanent loan to the haunted table. I assume my trusty assistant agrees. What do you reckon, John Perry? Uh, you, I, I could care, boss. Hmm. Well, there it is. This is lovely and colourful, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to try and make a start this weekend on... Um, the set for the next animation, the, the 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 bridesmaid extravaganza, as has been voted for. Um, but I suspect it will take the best part of a week. That one. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Wait for it. Oh, what? Yes, it is supposed to be higher by one. All right. It's a little hard to tell. Yes, it's definitely one higher. All right, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Gary Black, Nova Town Corner, Post Office, bag five. Is it five? Finishing the first floor facade, so just a couple of fun construction details. First off, this fab little balcony. Lovely. The window surrounds were fun to put together. Here's the structure before. Yes. And after. Yes. The surrounds were built separately and clipped on. Each one has 42 pieces. Blimey. 42 pieces. Flipping heck. 42 pieces, you say? Blimey. Finished facade. Hmm. Look at that, that's nice, isn't it? There's another one. Lovely. Lovely, very nice. Uh, plan view. That's uh, there. Yeah, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Guy Blair. Oh dear, another minifigure infraction. Oh no, here it comes. <sighs> Mother Goose. Incarcerous Blair Holium. Oh no. Oh no. Really? Oh crap. Oh, sorry, Ruth. I've knocked you over again. I might have to tether down Ruth and Annie Miller. It's either that or they're drunk. They've been drinking on their day out. I can't even believe it. Here we are again. Me going into the blinking Blair hole. I mean, can you crunch? Can you even believe it? Sorry, Noel, Noel's lying on his back. Everyone's everyone's gone absolutely cockeyed. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Book of Morons again. Oh, that's a fussy. Jiminy crickets. Blinking egg. What's the date? 25th. 25th. Flipping heck. <sighs> I forgot to do me figure. Just stupid. Something is Ah! Ah! many crickets. Never not in the book of blinking morons. Ah! <sighs> uh, Tatty Forrester. Uh, as it uh, as it occurred to me, yes. As it occurred to you, yes. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, Tatty Forrester. I've got to do some counting. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, it's there. Yep. I don't get as as we know. If you don't get this one right, yeah, then you you're all off. Right. As it occurred to me, I thought I'd mention that within your video might not be the best place to tell your thousands of Twitter followers who haven't watched them yet to go to YouTube and watch all your videos. <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, very good point, uh, Tate. Uh, you may need to make it again or link to the tweet after today's video, depending on when another goose made it to the Lego shed. I'm never sure when the window closes on replies being seen. Well, I'll tell you, I'll give you the answer to that. Um, basically, I aim to come in here uh, just after breakfast, which is generally sort of around half past eight, nine o'clock, sometimes a little bit later if, if, uh, if I've been prevented from by it by because I've got to do other things or whatever. So basically the cutoff point for replies for any day's film is round about now. And the time the time oh the time now actually is twenty past ten. I did come in here a little bit late today. Um but I would say bef bef before the morning time is uh the cutoff point for replies. If you want your reply read out, of course, on any given day. Uh, Heidi O'Connell. Uh, I mean, we, we, we must get to the bottom of who this actually is. We must get to the bottom of it. 
Um, Heidi O'Connell says, uh, thank you everyone for my lovely warm welcome. It was a much warmer welcome than when I got back from maternity leave after having little Dane. They didn't even realise I'd been off work. No, nobody, nobody had, nobody had uh, realised. Uh, John Parry, God bless you for playing along, says, what, what, where'd you, where'd you work? Uh, John Parry, Heidi O'Connell is a fictional character. It's a fictional character played by me in uh, the smoking room. Okay, okay, okay. That was that. Oh, look, now, this is, this is new. Oh, look, we've never had one of these before. Oh, Prof, are they, are they, is this the first time these have ever been used? Then we've got some sticker, sticker D5. Sticker, sticker D5. Hmm. Crikey, this is this is in intricate. Yeah, and another one. Gosh, you would think, wouldn't you, that actually they they would they would just not do these with stickers, but all right. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Look. Uh, back to Twitter eyes. Um, Gary Blair just shouts, poo it, poo it, poo it, poo it. Just ignore him. Little Sue. She's called Little Sue. She's little, she's called Sue. It's Little Sue. Oh, hello. It's, well, it's me, little, 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 little Sue. Hello, Little Sue. How are you doing? Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay, thank you. Um, Amora, uh, pl please, may, may I ask a question? Yes, of course you can. Um, uh, what, what do you do with your instruction booklets once you've used them? Um, do, do you line them all up neatly on a shelf or... Or perhaps they get put in a in a box. Could you tell me, please? And it, I mean, it, I'd really like it, you to show me one day. But um, but maybe that could be, could be on the bed on the bed on the bed on the bed on. Please, could you answer the question? Um, yes, I can. At the moment, uh, they are in a wicker basket. Uh, but um, there's some in a wicker basket. And there's some in a large uh, plastic container, but I have got a bookshelf coming that will be coming into the Lego shed, and I'm going to line them up. Sorry, Bready burp. And I'm going to and I'm going to line them up uh, because there's nothing I like more than a neat display, uh, as you can imagine. So they're going to be. They're going to be up, and they're going to be according to um, to type. So they'll like the creator experts will be together. And things. anyway, as soon as I've done it, of course I will film it and uh, and show it to you. Oh, thank you, because um, I I really like it when things are neat and tidy. Yes. Yeah. I I, th I think we're all a bit like that, aren't we? In the effort work going. Yeah. Yes. We we like these things. Don't you worry, but thank thank you for bringing it up, little Sue. Yes, that, that's okay. Um, do, can 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 I have a press button for that? Y yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Uh, scrub down, scrub down. Jackie Swan. Scrub down, scrub down. Uh, she says she once had. She's quoting me. She once had a Skype call with Julie Andrews, and now she's building Lego in a shed. Oh. Oh, but please, please. Oh, look now, hang on. Oh, I see it's going on there. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's rather good, isn't it? Um, Gary Blair just says, Hopley birdie, goffy. Uh, 
Um, hi, Jeb Consis. Oh, little Dane says hello. It was a difficult birth. I ripped all the way round. Emma, I'm surprised you didn't sing the rest of the lullaby. Sleepy, sleep, sleep. Make not a peep. If baby should cry, he'll probably die. So lie still in bed, all snuggled, not dead. Ah. Hi, Joe Connell was was a tremendous creation by Brian Dooley, I must say. If you've never seen the smoking room, oh, you can give it a go. Although my favourite scene was was when. Um, uh, that I had to do with it with a with an enormous giant stuffed panda um, that I had to get off with and when we were doing it I had to do it I had to do it again and again and again and again and again because Debbie Chazen uh, could not stop corpsing while I was doing it anyway that was fun that was fun old smoking room a little um good use of da 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 uh, and ah uh, sound effects during Eric Oswald's storm story I liked it yeah it's, it's good isn't it having the sound machines yes it's, it really adds a different dimension actually and it helps create tension I imagine that, that you like being able to do these things as, as a professional storyteller <laughs> get, get you little so yes no yes um it's all very good yeah but, but we all love the um we all love the sound effects machine that's for sure annie miller good luck with the bookshelf you won't be alone you'll have me faye tweedle mandy and tweedle vast pussy there at the very least and we'll all be cheering you on oh well look and jackie's so, oh the the crew the crew just basically ask loads of questions. I've got to talk alone for an hour. For goodness sake, I don't know what they're thinking. Tell them what they're thinking. Tell them what they're thinking. Anyway, I will be announcing uh, the uh, the whippersnapper, who will be uh, our next bookshelf, uh, our next, uh, well, our first proper one, really, um, for October. So stand by to... To purchase a book. I mean, I don't, I mean again, you know, I don't think you've ever heard of her. But, you know, see, it's, it's good to give uh, give people a chance. Uh, <laughs> give them, a, you know, give them a go. You know, you know, it's, it's nice, it's nice to be able to give young kids starting out. Uh, you know, a little, a little boost. It's really simple. Anyway, good luck, good luck, good luck to her, good luck to her, good luck to her, good luck to her. Anyway, you'll find out tonight who that is. Anyway, good luck to her, good luck to her, good luck to her. Um, and that's now that's going here. Let's get that in right. Hmm. Oh, look, this is um, Annie Miller. No problem standing me in front of the vase de shit. <laughs> it's the vase de poo, thank you, Annie Miller, at the poo girder during my visit. I've been anos anosmic, anosmic since birth, so I'm happy to take one for the team. Gosh, what's anosmic? What's anosmic? Uh, Michael Pendlebury, I've spent the past five days working on these. They're mini blocks, not Lego but still bricks. Oh, will you look? Look. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, they're super. Oh, I love those, Michael. Did you design those yourself? They're amazing if you did. Um, I don't think the tone of the channel has changed. Even before the Tweedle Twins arriving, there were a number of great scatterings. Sorry, no. That's no. You you get you get a round of applause for that. That's that's exceptional work. Um, Eric Oswald, a belated happy birthday to Tim. Not a pirate. He's not a pirate. Uh, I don't know why, but I pictured the holy vase as 
being iridescent green. That vase actually looks like the poo is still in it. I don't even want to think about it. I mean, just, uh, Tweedle uh, Vase Poo Sue says, Now you see why I chose that vase. It just screams poo in me. How it took Mum so long to find it. I'll never know. Actually, how long was it before that, that concludes the business? I, I was sort of thinking that when I was when I was looking at, at it yesterday, just thinking that that vase has got considerable depth. Um, how how did she how did she, how did she find it? Oh my, I don't want to know. I'm not sure if I want to know. Right, come on, we've got to crack on here. We're going to be going a bit slow today. And we're at, look, we're at 43 minutes already. Come on, knuckle down, Kennedy. The next door neighbours having some work done. Okay. Right. making four of these straighten that up hmm That's rather way good way of making some stacked a stacked shelf. I don't think I've ever had a speckled one in that shape before. Well, oh no. Go back a bit. There you are. Lot of little finickety bits now. fun and another one how lovely isn't this lovely then this
really great. I really like that. Isn't that great? The detailing in this set is just wonderful. more of these again. They've obviously decided they're really into them now. Oh crumbs, this is going to be tricky. Uh, D7, D7 and D8, D7 and D8. It says Dancing Doxy. There, and then D8 drives cats crazy. It really is sticker ahoy, isn't it? And that's going on there. What's going on there? The designer really likes s stacked stacks, but they are great. They do, they're, they're, they're very effective, aren't they? Stick up. Now this is an unusual, this is unusual. D6, D6, again, again, it's a till, but it's a sticker, which is pretty unusual. There you go. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Look. Like that. Goes there. Loving the colour. It's grey. Oh, good grief. Just see what I'm about to do. Slight brown blindness. Oh my goodness me. Okay, and then another one on there. Oh my gosh. Right. Okay, D14. Thirteen. D 
and D12. says mayhem. I'll give you a close up in a minute anyway. Then D11. D9 Crumbs, look at that Oh! <laughs> Popped out like a cork Great. Okay. Look. Um. So, slight brown blindness. Okay. on is it not quite on that's it round and that goes there that goes in there bit I think for today. That sits in there. Et voila. And I do believe that's it for today. Yes it is. Yes it is. Well what a lovely day's build. Look at all that lovely detailing. That's great. Love the staircase. Love that. Love that. Love that. Uh, super. All right then. We'll come back tomorrow and uh, 
We'll do bag 17. See you then. Bye.